All right, no dogs allowed. Starting this Saturday, there will be a temporary ban on walking pets on the inner trails at the Guilford Courthouse National Military Park in Greensboro. Yeah, this is one of the most popular parks in central North Carolina for dog walkers. But if you get caught with your dogs on one of these inner trails, you could face a $150 fine. I understand it's still okay to walk them on the main tour road that runs around the park, but watch out on these inner trails. Fox 8's Daniel Pierce live at the park right now. And Daniel, my wife and I walk our dogs in that park all the time. So do a lot of others. Why the change? Well, there's a couple reasons why this change is being made. One of them has to do with just waste being left from dogs out on the park. Owners not picking up after them. But then sometimes whenever owners do pick up after them, it's kind of really summed up in this photo behind me. They're just leaving the waste bags on the trails to collect. That is becoming a lot more common. The second big reason is because park officials are finding that dogs are being let off leash more, which is putting other dogs and dogs owners in danger. It's a park created to preserve history that defines Greensboro and the United States. Battle site where they lost, where the British lost about 20% of their commanding forces here. Lately, the Guilford Courthouse National Military Park has turned into more of a dog park than a historic preservation site. Our job is to protect the environment, the history here. Time of warning is over. It's time to enforce. Law enforcement park ranger Violet Lee Hayward has been handing out warnings to dog walkers for not picking up after their dog, leaving their used waste bags on the trails. Maintenance should not be in here picking up, you know, people's poop bags for an hour. Or letting their dogs run off leash. Sources are being damaged because of the waste, because of the dogs being let off leash. There are animals here that are protected by the government because they are on government land. This is their home. We're the invaders. Signs are going up at all entrances and trailheads that look like this. This map also shows dogs can walk on the main trails identified here as red, not on the inner trails identified as black dots. We used to like doing the back trails, but now you don't know if there's going to be a dog that's 10, 20 feet away from their owner. Some dog owners tell Fox 8 they don't agree with the band. Ripley's owner, Shelly, does. She's seen this too many times with dogs off of a leash. And, I, you know, I can't separate two big dogs fighting, so just don't even mess with the back trails anymore. Take those, those values away from everyone else, then there's a problem. We have to address it, and we need to stop it before it gets out of hand. Now, there have not been any instances of dogs attacking other dogs, but what the park ranger did tell me is that she has seen dogs going after wildlife after they've been let off the leash. Again, this is a temporary ban. There's no timetable, though, for how long temporary means. And I'm told that if the complaints and even the citations don't go down, then that temporary may turn into being permanent. Live in Greensboro, Daniel Pierce, Fox 8 News. Thank <laughs> you.